Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. BYU and Utah State have plenty at stake. Both the Cougars and the Aggies are on the field as you take a live look inside the stadium as we get set for a battle for the Beehive Boots. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football Pregame Show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Team since 1948, and today's winner will take it home. And now it's time for the coin talk, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Anderson is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. Prater from the two. Oh, man, he took him down hard. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Slings it. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. Yeah, the defense looked a little sluggish there. They can do better than that. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. Got a man in and out of his hand. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. Game of two. You know, this veteran wide receiver is not always easy to stop. So that's a good job here by the defense to slow him down. Third down and seven. Ball on the 38. He's got an opening. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air with a play-action pass. Keep it on the ground again. And he carries them all for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. And down he goes around the 42-yard line. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. 
So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Now he's scrambling. Slides down. receiver in a hurry. He's tackled at the 36. Wide receiver's role in a play-action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play-action, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at. But make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position to give an open to target for the quarterback. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 34. The Cougars running back left the game earlier with that injury. What we're hearing now, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to return to action today. And he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. up in the pocket he heaves it deep incomplete it's knocked down by the defense that's going to bring up fourth down it's a good hold by the defense on third down now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen Cantrell is waiting for the snap tackle at the 49 And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And they make the stop at the 43. White on the tackle at the 43-yard line. That makes it It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They come out on an empty backfield. tackles him hard at the 28. Very well designed play that time to give him a first down. Linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Let's go, let's go. Fires in a hurry, interception. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. From their own 25-yard line, first down. There's a strike complete, and he's down. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. They're about four yards away here on third down. hit and still completed it they'll bring him down around the 34 yard line the screen is good for four that'll bring up fourth and one we've played one quarter no score here And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Parker is back awaiting the punt.
Parker takes it at the 33. Tackle made at the 41 yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And he is drilled at the 48. Denman picks up seven yards with that catch. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here's a running play. And they push him out right around the 44-yard line. That's a game of eight on the play. That makes it first and ten. Throws a bullet. Almost picked off. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. He's taken down around the 31-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 31. Tackle around the 28-yard line. down and they need to get it to the 21. Fires quick after the receiver and he can't make the grab. Five wide. He's on the run. What a play, and that is first and goal. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And he's level at the 12. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Tenth play of the drive. He's taken down around the four-yard line. It's third and goal from the three, and this is a very big play for both teams. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Hands off to the right and is brought down in the backfield.
It's up, and it splits the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Jones has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. From the eight-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 33. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Scrambling around. Tries to get around the corner. He's at midfield. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made around the 47-yard line. They need to do a better job of managing the clock here. You're right, Fred. Not only was that a horrible play in terms of yards picked up, but also, as you mentioned, in terms of all the time that may be wasted. He's scrambling. Has some daylight. He's at the 30, and down he goes. Right around the 28-yard line. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. It's first and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Play 68 yard drive and they get it in for seven. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. The score now 7 3. Utah State to kick. Prater from the seven and he's taken down at the 29 yard line. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. The offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Brigham Young just took their first time out. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Tries to get around the corner. He's tackled around the 45 yard line. Sometimes you'll see a quarterback try to force the ball into coverage instead of tucking it and running for the marker. That time he made the right choice to keep it. Fires out to his wideout. And they finally push him out at the 30. First down. From the 30 yard line. First down. Quick strike to the back, no good. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. 
fires a bullet over the middle. Throws it and it's caught for the touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he adds the extra point. A five-play, 70-yard drive. And the result, seven points. And a huge contribution from the aerial attack. Boy, they had some nice big pass plays on that drive. So the score now, 10-7. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Gets to about the 27-yard line. A great first half comes to a close. 10-7, BYU. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this, this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackling. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays. And when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in and year out, and, and that's what we're seeing today. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Great first half and a tight ball game, and we're set to start quarter number three. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Well, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. Quick strike, and he drops it. Johnson was the intended receiver on the way. That brings up third and ten. Makes it out to about the 39. He scrambled. He's brought down in the open field. throw out to the receiver incomplete you know he had his receiver open he just put too much on that football he's got to find a little bit more touch next time so it's third down and they've got about two yards to go he's gonna try and scramble got the corner lost the ball fumble and no one can get it it bounces out of bounds Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they make the stop right around the 40. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Makes the catch and look out, and he hits him hard at the 31-yard line. So the quarterback completes the slant pattern for about a nine-yard gain. They'll 
knock him down for a loss. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays, but if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. This is the 10th play of this drive. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. More intended receiver on the play. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Well protected. Now he's going to run with it. That's a great tackle at the 42-yard line. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Brigham Young holds a field goal lead. There's a the strike complete. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. At the 10 yard line. That makes it first and goal. Now it's first and goal with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down around the two-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That brings him second and goal. Stop behind the line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Here we go, folks. Third and goal from the four. Touchdown, Cougars. He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Johnson takes it at the 8. He's out to the 30, and he's tackled at the 34. The Cougars continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. West was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 34. Mike 22, he's coming. 22's coming. Mike, Mike. Come on, guys. And they'll get him in the backfield. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. Parker is the deep man awaiting the return. Parker fields it at the 22. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. 
So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 46. Caught and a big hit. He stopped in his tracks. Raymond makes the tackle at the 49 yard line. That brings him second and five. He's under some heat. They'll make the sack. That makes it third and seven. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's on the run, and he's taken down at about the 41. The Cougars quarterback, we saw him taken out earlier down there on the sideline after being injured. I don't think he's in that much pain right now, though, and I would bet that he'll be back in the game before the day's done. So at the end of the third quarter, the Cougars in front, 17-7. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. Breedlove gained seven yards with a catch there. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Caught open field. He gets hit out of bounds right around the 14 yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 14. And he's tackled around the 15-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. made right around the two-yard line. It's first down. Knocking on the door here. It's first and goal inside the five. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. Fires put with a fullback. Tackle at the two-yard line. That brings up second and goal. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Two. Big play here for both teams. It's third and goal from the two. They 
drop in for a loss. This should be an easy field goal. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He gets it up, and he's got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Fielded at the four. He's taken down at the 29. So the Aggies have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. He goes downtown. Doesn't get there. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 29. Wants to go long and does. Well, I tell you, these guys have some skill players who can make things happen. They picked up an enormous amount of real estate on that play. Going for it all to the end zone. He's in. Touchdown, Aggie. Big, big touchdown through the air. And now it's a one-score game. Converts the extra point. An onside kick doesn't get any bigger than that one. It's a whole new ball game now. I know there's not much time, but they've got excellent field position. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Zips it to the back. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. We're down to just a minute in this game. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. Up the middle for a nice game. Utah State's going to use their first time out of the half here. Tackled around the 38-yard line. The pass good for maybe seven yards. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. They're about four yards away here on second down. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds.
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Just throws this one away. Here's the eighth play of the series. Under a minute left in the game. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's sacked. That brings us Couldn't hang on here in the fourth quarter. And once again, the coaches decided to go for it on fourth down. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. Mike 41, Mike 41. Easy, easy. Wow, what a battle, and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. Nice run up the middle. Utah State will use their final timeout. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. And the ball game's over, and our final score in this one, 2014 BYU. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.